America is in turmoil as more people struggle to keep up with their bills, with reports showing many are resorting to desperate measures just to get by. The cost of living is skyrocketing, far outpacing workers' paychecks, leading to a rapid decline in the standard of living. Our nation has reached a point where only the elite are thriving, while the rest are being financially drained. For most, it's become a daily battle just to put enough food on the table for their families. The majority of the population is now buried in debt, and record high interest rates are only worsening the situation. Millions of hard-working Americans feel like they're drowning, often unaware that the system was rigged against them from the start, benefiting only a select few. Currently, about two-thirds of Americans, who identify as middle-class report, facing economic hardship, with no expectation of improvement for the rest of their lives. This is according to a recent poll by the National True Cost of Living Coalition. In a survey of 2,500 adults, 65% of those earning more than 200% of the federal poverty level, at least $60,000 for a family of four, often considered middle class, revealed that they are struggling financially in 2024. A significant portion of higher income Americans also feel financially insecure. The survey indicates that a quarter of people earning over five times the federal poverty level, more than $150,000 annually for a family of four, are worried about paying their bills on time. Many Americans are still gasping for air financially, highlights Jennifer Jones Austin, CEO of the Federation of Protestant Welfare Agencies. They simply don't have the breathing room to plan beyond their immediate needs. Researchers also found that nearly 40% of respondents are unable to plan beyond their next paycheck, and 46% don't even have $500 saved. Meanwhile, more than half say it's challenging to manage their current levels of debt. It's no secret that making ends meet is becoming increasingly difficult for everyone, but some groups are being hit harder than others. The 2024 Financial Literacy Survey by Go Banking Rates reveals that nearly 40 million Americans currently don't bring in enough money to cover their bills, with 46% of the population barely managing to do so. The generations struggling the most are Generation X, aged 44 to 59, and Baby Boomers, aged 60 to 78. Let's delve into the survey's findings. Among younger Gentsers, Aged 45 to 54, 17% say they don't make enough money to cover their bills. Among older Gentsers, aged 55 to 59, 18% face the same challenge. Meanwhile, 18% of younger boomers, aged 60 to 64, and 7% of older boomers, aged 65 and older, are also unable to cover their monthly expenses. Among those who report being able to pay their bills, nearly half, 48%, say they are barely scraping by. Aaron Sewer, founder and CEO of MDRN Capital, notes that Generation X faces unique financial challenges compared to other generations. He explains that Gen X is often referred to as the sandwich generation, caught between supporting their adult children and aging parents including those in retirement homes. They may also have inherited financial habits from baby boomers, who Sua suggests were not always the most fiscally responsible. Boomers, having faced numerous economic downturns, may not have prioritized their finances, leaving Generation X to navigate financial matters on their own. Unfortunately, cash-strapped Americans will have to tighten their budgets even further, as another monthly expense is set to rise. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is forecasting above normal temperatures for much of the U.S. in the coming months, and experts are warning that summer energy prices will become even more unaffordable. The cost of cooling continues to rise as summer temperatures break national records, said Mark Wolf, Executive Director of the National Energy Assistance Directors Association. The price of oil, which influences electricity costs, recently surged past $85 per barrel, the highest level since October, amid Middle East tensions. 
J.P. Morgan analysts expect oil to hover around $90 this month, but acknowledge the risk of prices nearing $100 by September. Extreme heat causes more deaths each year than any other weather event, including floods, hurricanes and tornadoes, according to the National Weather Service. The cost of summer cooling is climbing due to unprecedented rising temperatures, Wolf added. Currently, more than one in six households minus 21.12 million families are already behind on their energy bills, with the national average balance climbing to a record $23.8 billion in December, up from $17.7 billion at the start of 2023. In March, the percentage of families with children struggling to pay their energy bills surged to 25.6%, highlighting the impact of the end of enhanced child tax credits and other pandemic income support programs on their ability to cover basic expenses, according to Wolf. As bills continue to pile up, consumer debt levels are skyrocketing. On Friday, Chicago Federal Reserve President Austin Goolsbee expressed concern about the rising rate of consumer delinquencies, missed or late payments on expenses like auto loans, credit card bills and rent. He warned that if the delinquency rate for consumer loans continues to climb, it could signal that the situation is about to worsen. As mentioned during a panel hosted by the Society for Advancing Business Editing and Writing, with inflation making every aspect of our daily lives more challenging, financial analysts warn that we are entering the terminal phase of the current credit cycle, and what's ahead could be even more devastating. In an interview with Bloomberg, Mark Spitznigel, chief investment officer of Universe Investments, stated that we are witnessing the greatest credit bubble in human history. He emphasized that credit bubbles inevitably burst, and there's no way to prevent it. He added that the Federal Reserve has driven the economy to a point of no return. Spitznickel is right. There's truly no turning back now. The U.S. government has broken what was once the greatest economic machine in history. What lies ahead is a tremendous amount of pain. For those who think things are bad now, just wait until we find ourselves in the midst of a full-blown recession. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a period where our economic decline will turn into an economic avalanche. And once things start falling apart, the collapse will be brutal. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe.